this is Comic Uno, same thing review for Ultimate Comics Spider-Man issue 28. And before I start talking about this issue, I of course have some exclusive comics for Comic Uno episode 19, which is a show where I review all the comics I've read this week in one show. And those exclusive comics are Pretty Deadly issue 1, which is an image digital comic I got, Teen Titans issue 24, Green Team issue 5, Daredevil issue 32, Superior Carnage, Issue 4, and Red Lanterns, Issue 24. Uh, yeah, so definitely go check out uh, Comic Uno Episode 19. Now we go check that out. But let's talk about Ultimate Comics Spider-Man, Issue 28. Uh, cover's a little weird, actually, for me. Um, usually covers are pretty on the generic side, but awesome. But I feel like they're just way too small to really see any detail. Uh, so I thought that was a little weird. I like the concept, though, because we get to see rocks on, putting them in a chest tube, which really makes sense. But art-wise, I just thought everything was a little bit too cramped. Uh, but it's still a really cool cover. But let's see what's going on with the story. So, in this issue, we get to see... Uh, of course, we're going to see the continuation of Spider-Man, Spider-Woman... Cloak and Dagger and Bombshell teaming up to defeat Roxxon. And Roxxon, you know, the main guy of Roxxon, I think his name is, like, Roxxon, so I'll just call him that. Um, we get to see, he does admit, saying, yeah, I ruined you guys' lives, but I'm making money out of it. So, Spider-Man does get very upset with Roxxon, because it seems like Roxxon knows everything about these people. Uh, and Roxxon knows Spider-Man's identity. He's like, oh, I heard your mother died. That's too bad. So, uh, yeah, Spider-Man gets very upset because he is talking about his mother. So we get to see a big fight between Roxanne and Spider-Man. Uh, so some emotional uh, emotional moments between them. And then, uh, like, Cloak and Dagger, Spider-Woman, Spider they get to confront their scientists that gave them these powers and kind of ruined their lives. Uh, so all these scientists kind of ruined their lives. So I guess they, they affected their lives at the same time. Uh, so we get to see that, and it seems like they're going to end up being a team, which I actually really like, because I really like these, uh, I guess, five people being together, because I love their team up in this issue. So I think that could work a team. I liked how they formed the team. It didn't feel forced. They're like, oh, well, they have to work together. It just was so organic, this team up. So uh, I haven't really seen that uh, for a team forming in a really long time. And then we get to see Miles, he confronts Ganke and says, I'm Spider-Man, you know, I did quit for a little while, but hey, I'm going to be Spider-Man. Uh, and then Miles also sees that his father has been hiding things, but he decides, eh, I'm not going to ask him about that. Uh, and then Spider-Woman's actually going to team up with S.H.I.E.L.D. saying, hey, Roxxon kind of destroyed our lives, let's, let's attack them, let's destroy them. And S.H.I.E.L.D.'s like, we work with them, we can't do that. But he's like, alright, but look at the facts. And, um, you know, Maria Hill's like, alright. Maybe I could do something. Uh, so that's actually the last issue of Ultimate Comics Spider-Man, it seems. Uh, until Cataclysm. Which is, yeah, this is the last issue of Ultimate Comics Spider-Man. Um, I give it a four and a half. Now I'll tell you guys the bad, and then I'll tell you guys the good. Really not a lot of bad. First for the bad, it didn't feel like the last issue of Ultimate Comics Spider-Man. I thought it should have led up to Cataclysm a little bit more. Um, it just felt like an end of a story arc, which was kind of my same complaint of Venom. Uh, it didn't really feel like the end. Uh, yeah, he's Spider-Man now. Uh, and these it actually felt more of like a beginning than an end, because these people are teaming up. They're like, hey, let's text each other and become a team. Uh, so I think there's a lot more things to actually feel like a new beginning, and a new beginning of a story arc than an end of a series. Uh, and I'm still very, very concerned about Cataclysm, but uh, I will be picking up, so we'll see where it goes. Um, but yeah, I really, really liked how they ended this series, because it was the end of Roxxon, you know, kind of the major villain Ultimate Comics Spider-Man for a really long time. Uh, so destroying the main guy in a way like this, you know, the people confronting their demons, uh, really the people that created them, uh, I thought it was really cool. And again, even the characters we kind of just met, like Cloak and Dagger and Bombshell, uh, I thought it was a great way how they did that. So uh, I really enjoyed that portion. Um, I think there's a lot of great dialogue here, of course, great art, great paneling um so overall like this this is awesome even though they're not changing much he's like he's just yelling and saying well you know what i'm the biggest guy ever so you're not gonna arrest me and he's like yeah just just keep talking because yeah of course they're not gonna arrest you and he does get arrested in the end so again this big guy this you know he was really a dick to these people too like all the things he was saying is like you just hate this character and that's what a villain should do it's like you just hate him uh, even if you never read Ultimate Comics Spider-Man before this, you just hate Roxxon, and he just 
just has those moments where you're like, yes, that's what a villain should do. Uh, so yeah, a great issue. I give it four and a half. Great art. Again, just minor tidbits again. Maybe a little underwhelming for a last issue. Should have had more of a lead up to Cataclysm, but overall, uh, I really enjoyed this issue. So I give it four and a half. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic You Know and the Rant Situations. And don't forget to like my Facebook page, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.